I'm starting off this DIY project with a plastic bin. I'm using this size of plastic bin because it's actually a requested video and the size of what I saw in the picture was not as high as regular benches, but mine is still too low, so I will be adding styrofoams at the bottom. I will be making tufts, but because I added the styrofoams and left spaces at the bottom, I need to cover that up. Because the bin is empty, it's not realistic to sit on it, so I'm gonna fill it up with an old pillow, and I'm gonna be stuffing this in in such a way that it fits really snug, so when you sit on it, it's not hard, but a little bit soft. The lid wasn't closing well, so I had to use tape to hold the lid together with the body of the bin. The next thing I'm going to do is cover the entire bin with foam, and I'll be using a spring adhesive to attach the foam to the body of the bin. I'll be making points for my tufts now and I'm just eyeballing the distances between the tufts somewhere around five inches each in between them and after that I'm going to be using a pair of scissors to make holes on each and every one of those points. If you're new to my channel it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'm also going to be adding batting to make it smooth at the surface. In the inspiration photo, the color of the fabric is dark brown, but I'll prefer using something much lighter in color, like this one. And I got this from Walmart. All I'm doing now is locating where the points are and stippling it down with a heavy duty staple gun. The excess fabric needs to hold on to something, so I'm going to flip it over and add wood in the middle and staple the fabric down to the wood. Honestly, you do not need the wood and the styrofoam at the bottom if the size of your plastic is quite high enough for this design. I made tufts not only for the front, but for the sides and the back as well. I'll be using a regular board to cover up the middle part. To cover up the staple pins, I'll be using gold confetti and I will be using a strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the gold confetti to cover up the pins. I like to make an arm pillow for this bench, but the leftover foam that I have is not thick enough even if I roll it and roll it. So what I did was to use bubble wrap that I got from the Dollar Tree, glue them together and put them in the middle, that way it will be a lot bigger after the rolling is done.
I can remove this because if I did, I would have used tape anyway to close it back together to keep the wrap in place. Even after using glue to hold the foam together after it's being rolled, I decided to just use tape to make sure that it stays in place. Most of you will agree that this is such an unconventional way to actually make an arm pillow, but I really would love to use the leftover and the little items that I have at home to achieve what I want to make. And also I'll be using leather anyway to cover this up and it wouldn't need washing, just regular cleaning that can be done from time to time. To cover up the rough finishing here, I'm going to be cutting a round shape from the fabric to close it. The edges will be covered with bling wrap. Here's what the bench and the arm pillow now look like. You can recreate this look using any color of your choice for the fabric. And remember, if you use a plastic bin that's higher than what I used, you will automatically skip the step of adding the styrofoam and the wood. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button 